Hi, I'm Dr. Rufus Sokolini. I'm the Director of Public Health here in Doncaster. As you probably all are aware, the government has announced that from Monday the 19th of July, England can move to step four, the final milestone in the roadmap out of lockdown. This means that uh, the government's four tests have been met and it does allow us to move to fully reopening the economy. But the pandemic is still very much in existence and uh, remains a real need for caution as these uh, restrictions ease. So although there will no longer be uh, legal requirements for measures such as wearing face coverings in certain places and social distancing, it is important that we continue to do all that we can to take personal and community responsibility by making safer choices and balancing risks effectively. This is absolutely essential if we want to prevent uh, ever increasing infection rate, increased hospitalisations, long COVID, death, and even just keeping our businesses open. It's also important to remember that not everyone will be comfortable with the restrictions easing, so please be mindful of this and respectful of other people within our communities who may feel anxious about the changes ahead. In fact, our rates of COVID-19 infection are the highest they've ever been in the entire pandemic, and for the period the 4th to the 10th of July are at 605.7 cases per 100,000 people. We've got uh, 15 residents in uh, hospital, uh, two of those are in intensive care. Half of the people in hospital are under 50 and half are over 50. Therefore, it shows that uh, although the uh, link between the infection and hospitalisation and death has been weakened by the vaccine programme, it's not been completely broken. So please consider uh, the following as we uh, enter next week. If we have one of the symptoms of COVID-19, we still need to self-isolate and to organise a PCR test. If we're identified as a close contact of a case, we still need to isolate for 10 days. We should continue to wear face coverings to protect others, and particularly when accessing healthcare in indoor crowded spaces, communal areas and public transport. We should continue with good hygiene practices, including regular hand washing and using hand sanitizer. We can reduce our risks further by keeping uh, the two metres physical distance. And for those of us over 18, we should take the vaccine as soon as possible, unless there are medical reasons not to do so. It's worth knowing that uh, Dan Jarvis, the Mayor of the Sheffield City Region, has also announced that face coverings will remain mandatory in bus and train uh, st uh, interchanges across South Yorkshire. I know this is a difficult time. It's pleasing that uh, businesses uh, will be uh, fully open. It is also a difficult time for them to keep open with the number of staff that are needing to self-isolate. I expect the number of cases to continue to rise for the next two to three weeks and anything that we can do in the meantime to prevent that rise would be really grateful. Thank you.